here's how I make super healthy gummies with just four ingredients. Wait, you can make gummy bears at home? Oh my gosh, yes. And they're healthy gummy bears? Yes. But do they still taste like gummy bears? Yes. I don't know. That ain't, there's no way that tastes like a I'm not sure like who it. likes these better, me or my kids. See? First thing you need is three cups of strawberries. Three cups of strawberries. Wash and cut up I mean, now. You can probably use any fruit you want for this, though, huh? And watermelon. Ooh, green apple. Ooh. So many yeah. flavors. Now you need the juice from a lemon. One large whole lemon. No, what size doesn't matter. Just oh, it... Just whatever lemon you're working with and get that juice in there. Oh, then it definitely matters. Now use half a cup of honey. Or you can use maple syrup as well, whatever sweetener you want to use, but it's got to be natural. Honey would be good for allergy season. Mm-hmm, very good for it. As long as it's local, got to be local honey. Now this is optional for immunity. We get some elderberry. We're using one, two tablespoons. Let's do two tablespoons, two tablespoons of, of elderberry. elderberry syrup. It boosts immunity and it's a superfood antioxidant. And it's natural. Just elderberry it's syrup. delicious. Yeah, it's tasty. Okay, now blend it. Oh yeah! processor if you have it but ours is like broken so we're using this this is this this could this it's could blend processor. an entire city okay now it's time to make our mixture this is what's going to make it a gummy bear okay you need some agar powder for every cup of mixture you need one tablespoon of this agar powder and you got to get it on medium high heat okay so that was one and you got to move quick all right you got to constantly stir you got to do it on medium high heat for two minutes make sure it's all incorporated get that agar yeah. agar in there Make sure all the clumps is out. Get all yeah. the clumps. Mix it. Mix it real. Dun, 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 dun. Now lower the heat and stir for another two minutes. Lower it. Low. Okay, now remove this from the heat and let it cool. But stir it while it's cooling. Because okay. it gets hard. If you stir don't. it while it's cooling. Yes. With that, it'll get hard. Now get your cutesy little molds, whatever kind you want. We're using gummy, gummy bears. Gummy bears. Okay. Take They're your little so dropper cute. or syringe, whatever you want to use. And then you're just going to go into every single one and just yep. fill it up. I let this set in your fridge for about four hours. Overnight is best. The longer it sits, the better, but four hours should be good. Yeah, I can wait 30 minutes. Okay. Ta-da! Watch how easy these things pop out. Look, they just pop, ah! bop, 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 bop. Look how cute that is! Oh, this is the best. Oh this is like good sensory play, too. Look how easy they pop out. Oh my gosh, look how cute Yo, this they is, are. This is, uh, listen, I've made gummy bears with regular jello, but this is way better. This is, yeah, this is way better. Do you see how easy these pop Yeah, that's so and it's cute. it's real fruit. It's not, oh it's, not arti it's not artificial fruit flavoring. There, there's a red dyes in these. It's all real. This is a gummy bear made with care, but does it taste like a gummy bear? I'm about to find out. Cheers. Ready? Cheers. I'm dropping gummy bears. What? That's fire. That's fire. You know what? Let's kick it up a notch. That's so good. If you want them sour, you can make them sour. You can put you can put uh, citric acid. Oh. That is so good. Oh. I don't even need that. And you can eat as many of these as you want because it's just for strawberries. This is like this is like delicious vitamins. No. We didn't save not one for our child. That's messed up. We have three trays, babe. Oh. So we're not gonna save any for our child. <laughs>